now for Taste the Sunrise with Julie Peterson with Julie's Home Cooking. Yeah. We're going to make jambalaya today, right? Jambalaya. Yes, jambalaya. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, great yeah. It's going to be dish. really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're excited about it. I'm very, very excited. excited. <laughs> so this is already smelling really yummy. This is your base here? Yeah. So I um, uh, we've already had some uh, chicken and sausage and um, onions simmering, releasing those juices. Oh, uh, jambalaya so is a really um, flavorful dish. Um, very traditional in the South. Um, it's based uh, out of um, New Orleans, so it's a Creole dish. Um, I love all the meats. That's yeah, all, all so so it's jambalaya like, yeah. is the meat and and rice and vegetables. Um, initially, it was um, like the Spanish um, interpretation of paella when oh, they came to um, to Louisiana, and we they didn't have here. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, they didn't have saffron, so they started using tomatoes. Um, but it's basically as recipes are, not just in the South, but pretty much anywhere, you can just kind of do what you want. So mm -hmm. I like to have a little fun with the jambalaya, but I was first taught by my big mama and my Aunt Virginia, who are from the South, um, Shreveport and um, Mississippi. So, you know, mama, definitely I'll nice some, some good flavors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big mama yeah. has some loving hands yeah. in there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's always my tribute. Whenever I'm able to make these kinds of dishes, I always feel a little... You know, tug at my heart. Home. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, good, good. Absolutely. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay, so let me just first tell you um, um, what I have. Uh, I have two versions of jambalaya okay. for you. So I have um, the uh, very traditional one with rice, and then I also have a quinoa version. Nice. And, and we which were is snacking good. on it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting her snacking on it. Why are you so <laughs> <laughs> My, um, in my personal chef business, I like to offer um, healthy options. I always say we're gourmet meets comfort, so it's kind of nice to be able to give the client the um, the option of going the, full or, yeah, you know. Yeah, and the quinoa is good for allergies, too, Quinoa right? is awesome. It's got have, some yeah. great health mm -hmm. benefits, um, definitely for a lot of people with gluten intolerance mm -hmm. and things like that. But um, I think right now what we can do is start... Um, so you have to have the, uh, the the Cajun, the Creole Trinity in oh, jambalaya. Right. You they have to have Trinity, it. Huh? Yes, they do. It's a Trinity, mm -hmm. and that is onions, bell pepper, and celery. Okay, so okay. we already have the onions in there. So if we just add the bell peppers and celery. And the hander. Oh, oh yes, the there you go. <laughs> so so what, what I think that that's one? good. Uh -huh. That's, the, that's bell the bell pepper. Okay. And, and then the celery. The celery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you can turn that up on the All side right. just to like 350. Gotta get, get some heat going there. Yeah. Perky. To yeah. Start the cooking. And then. Uh huh. So we're going to start that first okay. and then um, give it a nice stir. All right. Yeah. And so all of those seasonings are coating the vegetables. Um, and really, you just have to sweat them down. It's a personal preference if you like your vegetables really um, soft, but also it's good to have some texture in there too because the meat is nice and soft and tender. So is the, is the stuff that's in there already these things here? Because yes. Because the flavor is unbelievable. It really, it, and it smells fantastic. <laughs> so what, what items were added? Yeah, what are Okay, those so this is our slightly healthier version. So we've got some ghee, which is clarified butter. Oh. Ghee? I love butter. How can you have southern food without butter? Did you call butter? it ghee? Yes, ghee. So ghee. that's that okay. is the correct name for clarified butter. And it's the butter fat that's removed um, from the butter. Oh. So you still get the butter flavor. I love butter. I can live on butter. Um, and then we this. we put a little of that in it? Or well, just you can drop just a tiny, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you can drop the tiniest bit for fun. Uh, just you can never have too much butter, right? <laughs> right. right. Um, my family, actually, my great grandfather was a butter Churner. farmer. Butter yeah, farmer? Yeah, he, he was. Churned the butter. That's cool. They were. Oh. So this here, I don't know if you want to take a sniff. This is my signature. Uh, blend. You don't have to put much because it's definitely got it in there. You, that's my signature blend of, of spices. Um, like that is. Like, can you? Is it a secret? You can't it tell is us any of the spices. Like, but definitely, you know like, what? So there was Caribbean. Oh, there was Caribbean um, um, influences in, ah. in 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 Creole cooking. So okay. there is. Um, there's some you pepper, there's some everybody. garlic, no, no, no. there's some, um, you know. It's just like, um, so tell us generally. Now this, yeah, yeah. Like garlic. Yeah, Kentucky yeah. pepper, garlic, and paprika. Set it all up in different um, you can go a little heavier on oh, that because you but want you, that you to be. You have like specific um, um, 
like brands Secret of Julie uh, herbs. Yes, herbs. Yes, I always herbs. make Spices. all of my Julie my, herbs. my <laughs> <laughs> Julie herbs. I definitely make all of my seasoning, so I never okay. get a pre-blended anything. Wow. I love to make all you of my seasoning. That's awesome. Um, Do you sell those like separately? No, but you know a couple of my yeah. friends have asked. They're ah. like because if I just dump this in something, mm -hmm. it's just, we know oh, it's going to yeah. be good. Marketing. Have Julie so herbs and spices. <laughs> And this that is with the dill. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it's, dill. So that's mm -hmm. fresh dill and this okay. is parsley. It's kind of my own little twist. I love fresh herbs, love cooking with them. All right, we gotta start so, wrapping it up. Yeah. So, okay, next? so let's drop the tomatoes inside. Okay. And the quinoa. quinoa. Oh wow, okay. So wow, you keep stirring and I'm gonna start scooping in there. It it grew. <laughs> so this is this is parboiled quinoa, so we could kind of get it going. I want you guys to be able to enjoy this. So if you keep blending it in there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Can we start serving it? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So there's some ready. Okay, so people, come, come on in. Come <laughs> on in. Somebody can bring the big pot too. We can try the other with the shrimp. Now yes. Can make this with a, a yes. shrimp. Yes. So we actually have one ready for, um, ready for us to enjoy as well. Nice. Yeah. So. Okay. So I'll Julie, make how do we get a hold of you? Um, you can find me at um, Julie's uh, www.juliesHomeCooking.com. Does the water? Chef Julie. I, I added just a little oh, bit, but we're water. yeah. So thank you. Chef Julie. <laughs> and you were I am you? Chef Julie. www.juliesHomeCooking.com. Yeah. I'd love to come and show you some love. <laughs> so you, you go to people's homes and, yeah, and all yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do catering. So catering and. Yeah, here's the thin TV thin magic. Yay. This is the rice version. Okay, with so shrimp. this is the rice with shrimp. Um, oh, you have the pretty things. Yeah, those are oh, for yeah, you guys. Really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. That one's gonna be mine. <laughs> yeah, Actually, no, no. Let's let this one. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Let's let this one yeah, simmer a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, Wild Mary is uh, dishing that out. We'll close it out. Thanks so much. That's it for the show. Thanks to Kevin Rutledge with Tip Flops, Karen Hoffman Brown with her fantastic kaleidoscope art, Beautiful. Chef Julie Peterson right here with Julie Home Cooking. <laughs> Thanks so much to all those folks who are joining us in studio today. And also, while Mary continues to dish, we're going to thank our amazing Crown City News team and the entire CCN Sunrise crew. We also want to thank our sponsors, including Foothill Transit, EH Financial, East San Gabriel Valley ROP, Color Dots, and the Smart.